Hello awesome Action Toy fans, we're back with another episode. This time we are reviewing the very sought after, the very rare and the very wanted Deserter. This is, uh, this was rather available in Taiwan at a toy show. We believe there are 78 in circulation. They are expensive. If you want to buy one, you're looking at 350 US dollars upwards. And they were sold, they were under 40 US, I think 33 or 38 US dollars. So they're very hard to get hold of. So this is amazing. This is the first Acid Rain toy that had soft goods. We have the cloak here, we have the coat, we have the wrap around the normal rifle, and we have the leather strap to the metal rings in here. This adds so much character to this toy, it is unbelievable. And we have the stone, which has the Acid Rain on underneath. This is, you know, I'm not sure if it's this or Red Face is the favourite, but now I'm convinced this deserter because there is so much character in this little fella. The soft goods make all the difference. The fact that he's become disillusioned with the war, disillusioned with everything that he's left and he's deserted and he's on his own also makes a difference. Also you can see the pouches are different. We go to the back underneath the soft good extra pouches when he's surviving in the wilds by himself, which we don't see on the normal soul commanders. He has the same Soul Commander helmet, and as usual, it does come off and go back on again. But most of the time we keep it on, and we leave the hood on over his helmet, just for the effect of being hidden, camouflage, being uh, clandestine. Now, this is, like Red Face, rare, really good for dioramas, really good for telling stories. You know, have him hiding behind things and being sought by the uh, other people from Argots and so forth. You'd have him being chased and, and sought after and being chased by the uh, Amangas and so forth. So it's a really good storytelling tool, really good storytelling figure. Again, if you get a chance to get one of these, it's going to set you back a lot of money. Is it worth it for the art? Definitely. For the figure alone, no, in terms of the price, but in terms of the art and the storytelling. And if you're a collector, when you get the whole set, then it is definitely worth the money. Uh, it's worth noting there are some people who are making deserter kits, like the hoods and cloaks and stuff, and the straps, so you can make your own out of the Soul Commander. So that will be a cheaper option, but you won't have the satisfaction knowing that it's an original like this one. So this is the original Soul Commander deserter, my favourite Acid Rain figure at the moment and probably, probably will be forever or a very long time. There are other things I like too, but this has the most character. You sit him on a rock there, and you look at his pose, and he just looks awesome. A long day hiding, he's sitting down, but he's keeping himself aware. He's aware of his surroundings, what's going on, what's happening. He's not going to be caught and taken back to be court-martialed and executed. He is going to survive. So this is the Acid Rain Deserter by Ori Toy. Again, 78 of these we believe in circulation, under 80. Do get a chance to get him. And he has full articulation, as you'd expect from Acid Rain figures. Okay, stay tuned for the next episode of Awesome Action Toys Reviews.